We all know that Dobermans can have their fair share of genetic issues, but do you know what the number one killer of Dobermans is? It's called dilated cardiomyopathy, or DCM, and it'll affect over 58% of Dobermans at some point in their lifetime. It's a serious, serious killer. We'll talk about what it is, why it's so deadly, and what you need to know as a Doberman owner. So make sure you watch this video to the very end because it's so important that you know what symptoms to look for and how you can influence these factors to help make sure that your Doberman lives a long, healthy, and happy life. Uh, little disclaimer, I'm not a veterinarian. I'm what my wife would call a Doberman nut, but I've been a proud Doberman nut for many years now. And I spent the last uh, few weeks researching this topic to death and I learned some things that I just think is so important that Doberman owners know about this disease and that's why I'm making this video. Oh and one more thing if you want to dive more in depth into this topic to see all my research take a look in the link below in the description to my website uh, on the article all about this topic. First let's talk about what DCM is. I think it's really important that you understand what it is and have a good grasp on what is actually happening to your dog's heart uh, so you kind of know what factors influence. Now first of all when your dog's heart is pumping fine everything's good there's plenty of muscle um, in your dog's heart pump and blood no problem to the rest of the body your doberman is strong healthy and he's able to handle anything um, that life throws at him all the fun and games and everything now as dcm begins to take over the heart muscle walls begin to kind of thin out and the heart's chambers which are also called ventricles enlarge now this makes the heart overall weaker and it now has less muscle mass uh, to pump the blood properly to the rest of the body. So it's a lot more difficult for your dog's heart to pump. The contractions of the heart that cause the pumping action of the blood are now not as powerful as they once were. And basically the heart is now struggling. Now with the final stages of DCM start to kick in, uh, your heart is really struggling now. Um, your heart is pumping faster than it has before. Usually um, it's struggling to pump blood. There's gonna be heart murmurs and arrhythmias and different types of things going on. Um, now this process continues until either a blood clot forms as a result and, and kills the dog, or the heart's just not able to produce enough blood flow required to keep the dog alive. And finally, just everything shuts down, including the heart. Now there are some symptoms of DCM that you should know about. Um, one of the most common is, is your dog being lethargic. Um, it might be hard for them to get up in the morning. Another one would be lameness, uh, especially in the rear end of the body. Coughing, abdominal swelling, uh, faster heart rate or, or more labored heart with uh, murmurs and unusual heartbeats, uh, more labored breathing. Uh, uh, coughing, did I mention that already? Well, coughing is one of them too. Um, so those are, those are the main symptoms. Now, like always, I gotta tell you, if you see anything unusual about your dog, bring him in. Uh, because you can't catch DCM early enough. The, the symptoms initially in the early stages are so easy to miss and that's the most critical time to get your dog into the vet. So what's the lifespan if your dog is diagnosed with DCM? Uh, unfortunately for most Dobermans, it's not caught until the later stages, usually when the dog's already in chronic heart failure. Now that means that their life expectancy is usually not longer than about six months at most. Um, and that's the really sad thing about this. Now if the disease is kept in check with medications really well by your vet, at most, you can usually expect one to two years of lifespan after diagnosis. That's if you catch it early and, uh, and the right treatments are, are applied quickly. In Dobermans, this issue is almost always genetic and is not dietarily related, which means that uh, curing or reversing the disease is basically impossible most of the time. Now, if you happen to have one of the few rare cases of DCM in your Doberman, that your vet determines is potentially diet related, then you might actually have a good chance of um, even reversing the disease somewhat um, with dietary changes. Your vet will usually use blood work to determine kind of what the uh, nutrients that your dog's taking in is and talk to you a little bit about uh, the diet that your dog's eating to help determine that. Uh, but in general, it, it is usually a fatal disease in Dobermans and it's usually genetic and, and typically you can't do anything to reverse it. Now there was a recent study done with Cocker Spaniels that had DCM that was diet related and changing the diet on the vet's uh, instructions seemed to actually reverse the disease. And there was also a recent FDA um, investigation report. And if you look at my article down in the description on my website, I go into great detail about what that report says. But the FDA re released a report about um, DCM 
being linked to diets. And a lot of this they attribute to Dobermans that are on grain-free diets. Now this, is, this has been huge because this means that potentially us as Doberman owners have um, a factor in this disease that we can actually influence. They can be on a, on a proper diet that can help support the heart and potentially avoid some of this. Now, if your dog has a genetic predisposition for this disease, there's almost nothing you can do about it. Uh, but sometimes it's a dietary issue and more often than dietary, it can be a combination with Dobermans. Now, the interesting thing about the FDA study is they actually named the specific brands of food that the dogs were on um, when they were diagnosed with DCM and they categorize it by number of reported instances for each brand of food. It was actually really interesting because obviously diet, like I just said, has a lot potentially to do with DCM um, and in, in some cases. And if you look at the number of brands of dog food that were linked to it, there are some brands that have DCM related cases linked to them way more often than other brands. And they're almost always the grain free diets it seems. So what can you do as a Doberman owner? Well, really it's kind of limited. You can do some genetic testing. There are two tests called the DCM1 and the DCM2 test, which you can uh, have performed on your dog. What they do is they look for a gene mutation in the genetics of your dog for what's called the PDK4 gene. Now this is a gene that's been linked to the development of DCM. And uh, it checks to see if your dog has one copy or two copies of the mutated gene or no copies. Um, if your dog has two copies of the PDK4 gene that's mutated, then your dog has the highest risk for developing DCM at some point in their life. If they only have one copy and the other uh, copy of the DCM gene is clear, then they're just a carrier. They can still pass it on to their, uh, to their pups, but uh, their risk of developing DCM is lower. And finally, if your dog has no copies of the mu mutated uh, PDK4 gene, then uh, your dog is in the lowest risk category. So genetic testing is important. On top of that, you can make sure your dog gets plenty of exercise to build a strong heart before any of this happens. That's very important. Um, a quality diet, uh, specifically a diet that contains grains, you don't want to go for those grain-free diets. That's kind of been shown to be an issue. Um, and of course, watch for these symptoms. If you see anything unusual about your dog at all, bring him into the vet because you cannot catch this early enough. That's the, and that's the biggest thing I've learned about DCM is that if you catch it early, it's well managed with medications, but unfortunately more often than not, people don't bring the dog into the vet until he's not getting out of bed and he's got lameness issues in his rear end. And, and a lot of times that can be pretty much too late. If you think you enjoyed this video and you learned something, just hit that like button down below and hit subscribe. And maybe even check out some of my other videos on my channel I got going. We uh, like to have fun on my channel too. They're not, it's not always as serious as this, but this is just something that um, I had to get out there. I had to let owners know because this is very serious in the Doberman world. But uh, we do like to have a lot of fun, but it's always about Dobermans because they're just the most amazing breed. So check out some of my other videos, hit subscribe, and I'd appreciate it. Thanks guys for watching. Tractor.